Today I'm going to show you how to plot pins on a custom map. We're going to use a tool called Atlas to do this. Full disclosure, I actually co-created Atlas alongside my friend Carl. And there's a link to Atlas in the video description. For our tutorial, we're going to create this map. A map of all my favorite Impact Kitchen locations in Toronto. Impact Kitchen is just a restaurant I like, but you could make a map of anything. So here we go. Let's get started. Here we are in Atlas. Let's add our first marker by searching for an address. And there we go. There's our marker. If we click the marker, we can edit the name. We can add tags, notes, and we can even add some photos. Nice. Now we could keep adding markers one by one by searching with this box. Or we could import a CSV spreadsheet to add many markers at once. Let's do that. Let's upload our CSV. And there we go. We have more markers. Now if we want to, we could put our markers into groups. And we could give these groups custom styles. But we only have five markers, so I don't think we really need groups here. Now that we've added our markers, I think it's time to customize this map a bit. So let's go to Customize, and let's start with the map. The first thing I like to do is to pull down the map labels. It cleans up the map a bit. Next, let's change the theme. There are a bunch we can choose from. Okay. Nice. I kind of like this one. Okay, let's head back. And now let's customize the markers. We can change all kinds of things. The size, the border, the color. But what I actually want to do is upload a custom marker image that has the Impact Kitchen logo on it. Nice. But let's bump up the size. Perfect. Let's head back again. So when visitors click a marker on the map, it opens a modal. And I want to add a button to the modals. So let's go to modals and turn on the button. Nice. Now let's click options. And we can see we have two options for buttons. Directions just links the button to directions in Google Maps. Link lets you set a custom link for each marker. That's what we're going to use. In this case, I want the button to link to this restaurant's Uber Eats page. So let's go back to the marker and edit the button to be a link to Uber Eats. We'll click the button, and boom, there we go. Awesome. I think we're ready to talk about overlays. Overlays are additional features you can add to your map, like search, more tags, or a title, or a list. Let's stick with these. You can interact with overlays here. So we can filter by tag or search to find the nearest location to an address. Now these overlays can always be customized. So for example, if you're Canadian like me and you don't use miles, you can go to options and set the unit to kilometers. Perfect. Okay, I think we're good. Whenever you're ready, you can go to publish and you can share your map in two ways. You can use this embed code to embed your map on a website. Or you can use this URL to share your map. Awesome. Okay, there we go. That's how to plot pins on a custom map. Once again, you can find a link to Atlas in the video description below. Thanks for watching.